Okay, so you want to know how to make a mashup and what software to use to do it. Well, today I'm going to show you a free piece of software called Audacity. Uh, so this is a great bit of kit. It's totally free. You can go online, Google it, it will come up straight away. Uh, this is used by hundreds and thousands of mixers, DJs, you know, artists, people making mashups, bands, all sorts of people using this to make music quickly and simply. So I'm going to show you quickly how to put a mashup together. So you can see here I can file, import, audio. So before this video started, I went online and found some instrumentals. Uh, you can see there's all different bands there. So I'm going to choose Fallout Boy. And then I'm going to add some vocals. So you can see there is importing the instrumental part. So that's just the band with no singing. Um, and you can get these all over the place. You can get them from YouTube. There's file sharing sites. Even, you know, Rage Your CD collection sometimes they have instrumental versions of songs on the CDs. So, okay, I'm going to add some more audio, a second track. I'm going to come out of my instrumentals folder and go into my vocals folder. And I'm going to pick Ariana Grande, Into You. So this would be a cool clash, a uh, rock band and a diva singer. Let's see what happens. Just loading this in now. Now chances are, straight off the bat, things are not going to line up, so I'll show you how to make things fit. So you can see there, the Ariana Grande songs are a little longer, so we'll need to make some changes there. Um, but we can zoom in here. Uh, so I'm just holding down control and rolling my mouse up. There is a zoom button up here as well. Um, so I want the start of the Fallout Boy song. You can see this peak here, this big, uh, big lump in the wave, to line up with a big lump in Ariana's first bit of singing. Let's see how it sounds to start with. I bet it's not good. Yeah, doesn't line up. So I'm going to take some of this blank space here, just highlight that, and I'm going to do Control C just to copy. And I'm going to go up here at the start of this musical part and Control V, paste it in there. And you can see that shifted over. Now I'm going to do another one, Control V again. You can see this peak is almost in line with this peak. So I'm going to zoom in a little more over to the left. I'm going to take a smaller chunk, copy, paste, and it's almost there. Let's see if that sounds any good. Not bad. Cool. So there you go. That's how you merge two songs together. I'm going to zoom out. You can see, you know, the two songs are different lengths. So you can use what I've done there, just literally copy and paste uh, the different sections. You're going to have obviously a verse and chorus for your the band and verse and chorus for your singer. Try and get those to line up. You can be experimental with it even, you know, you don't have to put all the same parts in the right orders that the, the, uh, the original artist intended. So experiment, try, you know, try what you can. I will do a follow up video with a second piece of software that has even more features, it's a little more complicated, but don't let that scare you. It has way more stuff that you can do. Um, I'll also do a follow up video on what to do if the two songs are a different speed, a different tempo. Uh, so I lucked out here that these two songs are both 108 BPM, so that's 108 beats per minute, the same speed. Uh, so if you've got two different songs, how do you speed them up, slow them down, get them to mesh? Um, these are two modern bands as well. Bands, you know, pre the year 2000, a lot of them just recorded with a live drummer. So the tempo went up and down through the song. So I'll show you how to fix that sort of thing as well. If you're interested in hearing the finished version of this mashup, I'll put a link in the top corner there uh, and in the description for the video. If you have other mashups that you'd like me to put together, let me know down in the comments what two bands would you like to hear. Is there a project you're working on that you're having trouble with that you need some advice on? Let me know, I'll be glad to help you out. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, please like, share and subscribe, we've, uh, we've got more videos coming up and uh, I'll see you next time, thanks for watching, bye bye.